This is the World News on Aliamuye TV and Radio. Good afternoon. I am Mudukbe Akinye Soye. Here are the top stories. Federal government to harmonize citizens' data and to multiple ID registrations. Possible arrested 19 suspected courtes in Ogun. In business, farmers, manufacturers to showcase agri innovations, expertise at Agro Expo. In sports, federal government delegation to present Nigeria's bid for 2027 Afghan Austin right at CAF executive meeting. Details of this and more coming up shortly. Stay with us. Welcome back. Now the news in details. The federal government, through the Minister of Interior, Olabumi Tunjojo, has said that it would invest in the harmonization of the country's data through the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, noted that multiple ID registrations will soon be over in the country. Tujojo revealed this while receiving the MCN management team led by the Chief Executive Officer, Carl Toria Lain Abuja, on Monday, adding that there was a need for the country to have a tech-driven data hub under the ministry. The minister noted that through the data harmonization, the integrity of the citizens' travel documents would be restored. He added that the data harmonization, there would be an exchange of data amongst the agencies, hence citizens can access data for passport or BVN with their national identity number. In another development, the federal government has stated that it is introducing mobile court as part of effort to address cases of sexual and gender-based violence, among others. Minister of Women Affairs Uju Kennedy Oaneye disclosed this e at a briefing in Abuja. According to the minister, the move was part of key reforms and targets she hopes to realize in her first 100 days in office. Kennedy Oaneye added that the government would be working with women cooperatives to reach the grassroots with its challenged uh, channeled empowerment projects that can be sustained by recipients after the initial support from the federal government. The United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, has revealed that only 7% of Nigerian youth have the information communication technology skills needed for working and living in a digital economy. Speaking during a two-day workshop organized for the media in Edo State Education Specialist, UNICEF Nigeria, Yetune Oluwato added that only 7 percent of 73 percent of nigerian youth were literate according to luato seen 73 percent of 10 year olds could not read a simple text with understanding and only one in four children ages 7 to 14 in nigeria demonstrated from the uh, foundational skills she however appealed to the media to use their power to reduce learning poverty and influence positive policy from decision makers in favor of children. Police in Ogo State have arrested the impeached chairman of Ijebu East local government, Wali Adedayo. Wife of the erstwhile local government chairman, Kafaya Adedayo, confirmed that her husband was arrested on Monday by police officers from the command headquarters at Eliwiro in Abeokuta. She said the officers informed her that his arrest was based on a petition written against him by the state government. Adedayo had accused the state governor, Dako Abiodo, of financial misappropriation and of diversion of funds meant for the local government. The deputy governor of Edo State, uh, Ondo State, I beg your pardon, Lucky Ayedatiwa, has sued the Ondo State government, the governor of Ondo State and others, over impeachment proceedings against him. In a suit filed at the High Court in Akure, Ayedatiwa asked the court to stop the Ondo State House of Assembly from proceeding with the impeachment proceedings against him pending the hearing and determination of the suit filed in court. He also sought a declaration of courts that his office tenor status, rights and privileges are protected, guaranteed and secured by the Constitution. The House had earlier written a letter of allegation to the embattled deputy governor alleging him of committing gross misconduct while in office as the acting governor during the medical vacation of Governor Rutimi Akiridulu in Germany. You're listening to the World News on Ali Amoye TV and Radio. Still to come, business and sport news. Please stay with us.
Thank you for staying with us. Welcome back in business and economic news. Farmers across the country, machinery manufacturers and others are expected to showcase some agricultural innovations and expertise at the 5th Nigerian International Agriculture Expo. The expo scheduled for October 10th and 12th in Abuja would feature demonstrations of the latest agricultural machinery and equipment and allow attendees to experience first and the, the innovations in the industry. The expo project lead, Kenyan Kazim, said the project has set the standard for excellence in the sector, adding that this edition aims to exceed all expectations. Kazim added that the expo is expected to bring together stakeholders, including farmers, agricultural machinery manufacturers, horticulturalists, and experts in animals' boundary, creating a platform for innovation and growth. In the world of sports, the Minister of Sports Development, uh, Senator John Owen Eno, is said to attend the Confederation of African Football's Executive Committee meeting in Cairo, Egypt, on Wednesday as the nation solidifies its bid to host the 2027 African Cup of Nations, AFCON. As the representative of the federal government, the sports minister would be attending the CAF meeting in company of officials of the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF. According to reports, the Nigerian delegation, which includes the NFF President Ibrahim Gusa, General Secretary Dr. Mohamed Sanusi, and bid coordinator Malam Mainasara Ilo, uh, will make a 10 minute presentation to the CAF Executive Committee and will thereafter answer questions regarding the Austin right of 2027 Afghan. <music> Still in the world of sports, Saturday, September 30th, has been officially announced as the commencement date for the 2023-2024 season of the Nigeria Premier Football League, NPFL. In a statement made available by Devin Sin Owumi, uh, the official operating, the chief operating officer league, the 20 participating clubs were informed that champions of the season would receive the sum of 150 million naira which is a 50% increase from last season's prize money. Fixtures for this weekend include Bielsa United vs. Aqua United, uh, Shooting Stars vs. Plata United, Abia, Abia Warriors vs. Niger Tornadoes, Sunshine Stars vs. Canopillas, and Sporting Lagos vs. Gumbi United. <music> to end the world news, a quick recap of the major stories. We reported that federal government to harmonize citizens' data and multiple ID registrations, police arrested 19 suspected courtists in Ogun. In business, we told you that farmers manufacturers to showcase agric innovation and expertise at Agro Expo. And in sports, we told you that federal government delegation to present Nigeria's bid for 2027 African Austin rights at CAF executive meeting. The World News was edited and produced by Tawhid Abidat. For more news and updates, you can follow us on our social media platform on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Aliyamuye TV and radio on the X platform at Iyamuye underscore TV and on Instagram at Iyamuye TV.